Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Tabletop Tryouts. This is the show where we take a look at a tabletop game that you may not have heard of, and we haven't played it before now, Tony. You're killing all my guys. I don't really appreciate that. <laughs> they do. They are pretty hideous, though. Like Mine are pretty hideous, too, but I think your guys definitely win that contest. I went for these guys because the, uh... Resurrect! <laughs> <laughs> because the, they had it in the regular checkers, and so, in some lighting... You can play, obviously play this regular checkers, but in Tabletop Simulator in particular, the lighting makes it difficult to see which ones are kings. So uh, we're playing with these, and then we'll swap out if somebody becomes a king to these guys. A little bigger, a little clearer that they are kings. So this is a game called Turkish Draughts, Tony. And it is a variation on the checkers game that everybody knows and loves. There's like a bazillion of these variations, and I love it. And they all kind of follow the same basic rules. Uh, this one is a little bit different. Obviously, you can move on to any one of these squares, which it's not like in regular checkers where you can only go diagonal. You can move in any place. So let's say this guy is here. He can move to the left. He can move to the right. He can move forward. He can move sideways, orthogonally, as they say, to either one of these squares. Um, though All of those options are open to you. Um, and as a king, kings fly. So when you become a king, you can move in all of the directions and backwards. These guys can't move backwards. That's the one thing that it kind of keeps from uh, regular chess. The other rule for this game is that if there is a jump, you must take it. All right. Is there double jumping? There is double jumping. And the other thing is you must take the jump that offers you the most pieces. So if you have two different options, you have to take the one that gives you the most. If they're equal, you can choose. Um, and as you're jumping, so let's pretend here that your your guy's right here, Tony. All right. Uh, and then this guy's right. Uh, let's say he's right here. All right. So, uh, nope. Let's say he's right there for the sake of the illustration. Um, so I jump your guy. Before I go on to jump the next guy, I take him off the board. All right. Because there is a possibility as a king that you could actually jump and jump and then jump back through a space like to say get this guy over here I at some point saying. so you don't want to leave you can't uh, double jump them like that you can chain them as long as you want so you make sure that you pull the pieces off uh, yeah, so, so that you can travel back through that area and you're not double jumping yes also i'm gonna make my guys my, my guys are smaller than yours tony oh they're skinny they, well yeah but i want the pieces to be the same size <laughs> I say my guys. However, uh, if you would prefer to be on this side, white does go first. So I don't care. I like these guys. Okay. Lizard men. I will go first then. I don't know if I made it 100% clear. Get it, getting to the back row is what you have to do to become a king. I kind of figured. Okay. Well, like yes, but weird pawn promotion for the sake of uh, clarity. Oh, boy. This is interesting. By the way, if you don't know, I am Tony Southcott. Al Berg is across the table from me. We didn't introduce ourselves? Are you telling I, me we didn't introduce ourselves, Tony? I don't think we did. We introduced the game. If you want to play in the game, you got to stay in the game. It's... See, whenever you're learning these games, you never think you can never really think like multiple turns ahead. You can do a little bit of that, but not enough for it to actually matter. Right. So it's always frustrating to me because I'm always trying to like guess what's going to happen next, but I don't know the game well enough to project properly. Well, that is one of the joys of tabletop tryouts. Um, we are sort of learning as we go. Oh. Oh. I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do that. I see you got that wall hugging strategy. <laughs> it's the only strategy I have so far. I guess that means I have to do this. No, that's not good. That's really not good. Ooh, um, I might have to. I'm definitely going to have to give you a piece in this next move, Tony. It's possible. I can't see a way out of it. Okay, I'm going to do this. 
All right, I'm going to do this. Oh, and that's this. rough. That's so rough. <laughs> All right, and he becomes a king. Yeah, the, I got those new infinity bags, by the way. Did you see that? Yeah, I did see that the little infinity symbol. Yeah. Could be a battle of kings if we do this right. Well, I'm going to do this. And I can't jump again, so it's your turn now. And I can't really stop him from becoming a king. I also, you have to jump, my guy. Yeah. Oh, I have to? I Yeah. did not see... No, this guy I removed. I... Did I? No. I was right here. Oh, no, I was right here, and I jumped to there. Okay, so you should have removed him. Yes, I should have removed that guy. No, you only jumped two guys, though. Yeah, I think I picked this one up. Oh, okay. So that is what actually happened. That was just me grabbing too quickly. Never My mind, apologies. then. You don't have to jump anybody, Tony. <laughs> I don't... Th oh, no, you do. You're right, you do. Yep. You absolutely do. Oh, that. you booger! <laughs> and... I'll just take that. him off. Oh, you're gonna go that way, okay. That's fine. Uh, by the way, oh, and you you are king now, and that that is not the end of your turn. Oh, you, I didn't know. You that. keep you keep jumping now that you're a king. All right. Uh, well, I hate me... it, but that's what happens. <laughs> ah! So now I go Jump. here. Yeah, I'll just do that for you, and then, then here, there's that. Yeah. Then here. And then there's that. Uh huh. Uh huh. That was okay. a little bit brutal. That was super brutal. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna do this now. I get to be a guy. All right. I'm gonna put this guy over here and take one of them. Are these my guys? Yeah. Yeah. You might want to make him bigger, and he was right here. Right. Oh, I flipped him. I wanted to make him bigger. <laughs> I wanted to make him bigger. Flip for me. Flip. All right. All right. Well, now he's a bigger size, at least. Okay. And I, I'm still on my turn. So I can do this. And this. This is a much faster moving game because that that's secondary it. turn. Yeah. And once that broke loose, it all broke loose. Yeah. Uh, you guys can fly, so and I, uh, you have to take the move jump yeah, that's so available to you. I just have to tell you, you can do that. I uh, have to go there. And then I have to go there. Yeah. Oops. <sighs> I this is just don't think I have slaughter. Move there. <laughs> Are you done? Are you done murdering yeah, I, me? I don't see another one that I can do. All right, looks like so I have to take this one. And dag nab it. All right, I'm done. <laughs> All right, so we go. I'm really done. Wow. We go there. Oh wow. Um, let's see. You can jump side to side too. I know, so I'm trying to one... figure out if there's one that gets me more, but I don't think there is. <sighs> You're like that Geico commercial. More, <laughs> more. Why could you possibly want more? <laughs> you have a fire breathing T-Rex. And I believe and... that's my turn. <sighs> I can pull this out somehow, right, Tony? Tell me I can pull it out. There's, there might be a possibility. I don't entirely know. I don't have any kings. I have no way to get to that side of the board. Uh, what am I thinking? All right. What do I do with Why do I keep doing this to myself? I show you a game. I'm like, here's how you play this game, Tony. Okay. Boosh. Demolish me. Every time. It's not a joke. Every time. All right, well, I guess I'll move out of that way. Oh, right, no. You can still. Yeah, there's just. Ah. Uh, the bleeding just keeps happening. <laughs> oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. I Look, I got th I got four of your guys. I got four of your guys. There were just a few things in there that opened that wide up. So that was uh that's an interesting way to play this game. Oh, wow. And this this one's interesting too because it lets you play with the number the normal number of checkers that you would have at home and the normal kind of board. A lot of these international drops boards use um 10 by 10 boards. Uh, this is an 8 by 8. So it's the kind of. I say you. I'm talking to Americans like me, Tony. I don't know why. But I just got game. dominated. <laughs> I just got real bad dominated. This is a fun game, though, Tony. Yeah, it definitely is. I really like it. 
I'm not going to ask for a rematch because I know how that would go. <laughs> All but right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more like it. We're going to have weekly tabletop tryouts videos posted to this channel on Wednesdays. So check that out. And we will see you next week with something else. And if you want the rules, check out, check out the show notes and we will have the rules if you want to play this at home. Yes, we will. All right. I'll have to do that now, Tony. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>